Hiya, I'm that James Wisdom and this is a section I'm going to call Software Stuff. Today I'm going to go through Illustrator, uh, just do the basics of Illustrator, but we're going to start making something as well. Okay. So first of all I'm going to open up Illustrator. The important part of Illustrator is actually having a cup of tea while you're doing it, so... Just give me a second there. Right, Illustrator's opened up, I'm using CS6. Uh, which is the newest version of it. If you haven't got the newest version, it's not a big problem because most of the versions are pretty much the same. There's a few new tools in the newer versions, but I'm sure if you've got anything past five, you should be fine, particularly with anything we're doing today. So I just want to give you a few notes on Illustrator. Illustrator draws everything in vectors, uh, and vectors are really good because it's drawing everything in maths, which means anything can be as big as you like without losing quality. So if you make something that's quite small, you want to make it bigger. You just make it bigger and the maths works out what that should be. So let's get started. So first of all I'm just going to open a new document, so file, new, probably work that out yourselves. Uh, and then in this new document window you've got a bunch of different options here. You've got your custom options. You can go to print, web or devices or video and film. And this is quite important. If you pick, if you want to be printing things, pick print, web, web and it's got a bunch of presets in there if you go to size if you're using web you're probably going to be wanting to use uh, 1024 by 768 uh, or bigger really it's not a lot of point making anything for the web that's smaller than that these days uh, but what we're doing today is we're doing web devices because I want to make a design for an app uh, and I want that to be an Android app so I'm going to go for the Galaxy S because that's about the size I'm going to want it for uh, an Android app click OK and you'll see we get it opened up in a window like this. So you can see I've got Illustrator set up to my own personal preferences here. Yours will look slightly different to this when you first open it up. But all I've really done is I've pulled out the layers uh, window here to put it down one side. It's partly because I've got I usually end up with lots of layers, and it's nice to be able to see them all in one place um, without having to stretch this window out. And also it's going to help you guys understand where everything's going and how I'm organising my layers as I go through the project. Before you start a project like this it's always useful to have some ideas down on paper. So I've got some rough sketches and designs down on paper in front of me here but actually what I've done is I've also already made a rough idea of this app so I can show you what we're hoping to get to by the end of the video. So if I can find it, there it is, attempt one. This is roughly what we should end up with. Uh, and it's going to be broken down into a bunch of sections that should make it nice and easy for you guys to follow and also touch on all of the basic tools in Illustrator okay so let's just close that off for now uh, and we'll get started so the first thing I'm going to do before I get started is I'm just actually going to bring in some reference images that I found while I was doing the design work I find it's really useful to have those kind of things in here just to keep looking at while you're making so if you go to file and then place and then you can see here I've got this locative media app folder that I'd already made I'm going to bring in a couple of references so we'll bring in this one file place and I'm also going to do it another way as well so if I minimize this window and go to locative media app folder which I've just chucked on my desktop for the time being I can also drag from that folder directly into Illustrator and it pops it on that layer as well. It'll pop it on whatever layer you've got selected in here at the moment, obviously there's only one layer here, uh, but you can then see that there's two linked files in there, so that's each of my images. So those are a bit big, I'm just going to resize them. To do that, all I do is I've got this selection tool, which is the default uh, tool, the black arrow here, hover over it, it's a selection tool, or V is the shortcut. If I just select the object, and then I'm just going to resize it, hover over the corner the arrow changes to the bi-directional arrow and I'm just going to hold shift so it restrains the proportions and drag it down to be a more reasonable size and just pop it over to one side here uh, there is one more image I want to pop in as well so it's going to go file, place and I want to bring in this one here as well select it, press place and it pops it in that layer uh, there's a reason for that one, I'll show you that shortly. It doesn't matter if these are overlapped a little bit, because I only need them just for reference so I can see them here. And there you go. So there's my three reference images 
for me to look at while I'm making my design up. So those things are all on the same layer uh, and I want those to be left there as references. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock those layers off and do that. Let's see this empty square here next to the eye. I click there, there's a little padlock in it and that locks that layer, meaning I now can't do anything. I can't move these images to control on them or anything like that. I'm also going to change the layer's name to ref for references. Oop, not ref R, just ref. And then if I go down to the bottom here, I can create a new layer as well. See that comes up when I hover over it. Click that and it makes a new layer for me to start working on. So to start with, I'm just going to make the navigation bars for my app. So across the top and across the bottom, I'm going to draw rectangles similar to the ones we've got on this image here. So to do that, I just go to the rectangle tool, which is probably the ba most basic tool we have in Illustrator. If I click and hold, I'll get a bunch of other shapes, but what I want is just a rectangle tool. So I just select the rectangle tool to use it. Just go where I want to start drawing from left click down and draw the shape and now that I've drawn my shape I can edit it uh, there are two different properties that every shape that you draw in Illustrator has and that's the stroke and the fill the stroke is your outline and the fill is the color inside it so those two things are edited up here in this top left underneath the main menu bar and you can see a little drop down arrow here this one is for the fill I change the fill colour to uh, say a dark grey colour. That's a good colour that will do. And the outline, uh, just so I can show you, I'm going to make a really bright green colour. And then you can't really see that because it's only one pixel thick. If I go to the stroke weight here, drop down menu there, and bring that up to let's say 10 just so you can see it you can see that this shape now has an outline as well but I actually don't want that one to have an outline at all so I use the drop down menu there this white box here with a red line through it you hover over it says none that's no outline or no fill if you use it in the fill box and those are your basic properties for any shape you make uh, I want another one of these shapes at the bottom so I'm going to show you a slightly more advanced tool now so duplication of an object I go back to my selection tool, that's the black arrow tool. And if I hold Alt in C, when I hover over it, the arrow kind of duplicates to a white arrow and a black over overlaying each other. I just click on it and drag down, I'll do a duplicate of that shape. Now I've got two shapes exactly the same, one for the top bar and one for the bottom bar. So I'm going to name that layer uh, bars and press return and that's the beginnings of my app there so I'm going to stop there for this episode of software stuff next time we'll do the icons across the top and the bottom and in the episode after that we'll do the background image and the login screen so I've been that James Wisdom this has been software stuff don't forget to like and subscribe to the video keep smiling and thank you very kindly